Zach Sterniola with NASCAR.com. Koi, first for you, just the difference between the emotions of last week to where uh, you you and the team are tonight. Um, what's what's how how stark of a difference is that, and and just how rewarding is this seeing your son be able to celebrate a moment like this? Yeah, no, it's it's definitely been a tough week for sure. Um, <clears throat> I was, you know. You, when you start this day, I'm kind of like, I just want to get this day over with. <laughs> that was my mindset because I want to move on um, and get past it. But it, it is, I mean, it's, <clears throat> I've been through this before in multiple sports. Um, Ty hasn't. So it was more watching him and seeing how he's going to react during the day. <clears throat> and um, I think he just doubled down and, and, and did his job. Um, after, you know, making a huge mistake last week. So I, w I was, it was, it was fun to watch that. This is for Koi, and this kind of plays off of what he said. As a father, how, how do you feel now having seen your son overcome and do what he did and put his mind forward and race like he did and, and kind of what he's shown you in the days since last week? How proud, I guess, is what I'm asking you. Yeah, no, I I'm definitely proud of him. I mean, I've always got his back as his father. Um, it, obviously, it's, it's heartbreaking to go through tough stuff and watch. It's actually more heartbreaking to watch him go through it. I don't give a rip. I'm old and don't care. In fact, I've been racing with Chris since we're, what, 23 or something? So I've known him forever. Um, so we've kind of gone through a bunch of stuff in our life. But to see, you know, to see your kid hurting, and he knows he screwed up. And to go through all that, it's it's tough. It's tough as a parent, for sure. Watching it today was, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it just just to see his determination. I mean, and I think he's got skills and he's determined, and uh, it definitely made me proud. I mean, I think it made <clears throat> my wife and us, we were both proud just because he, you know, just hammered down and did his job and that's if he wants to do this for a living he's got to learn how to do that ty's done a fantastic job kind of bouncing back and apologizing doing all that but you heard it from noah and them and maybe you haven't yet but they were they were obviously showing him a little bit of respect and and telling him that yeah they race he raced him clean and and they really didn't have a problem racing you know around him that must make the the, the dad part of you kind of a little bit prouder than yeah, no, I, I haven't heard anything from him yet so yeah that definitely um, after last week, anything will, <laughs> anything's better. <laughs> so you, you bumped me, but you didn't wreck me, and I would be happy with that. So I don't know. I just think it's a process. I, I see all these young guys. We're bringing up young guys now. In fact, actually, this is my first time I get to witness a young guy through Cup with Christopher and actually see him break through. Um, but it's just a process. I mean, they make mistakes. They do stupid things. Sometimes it happens to you. Sometimes you're doing it to someone else. Obviously, doing it to your teammate was awful. Um, but I think that's why they're running Xfinity. I mean, the Cup guys still make mistakes. Let's, that's for sure. I see that every weekend sometimes. So um, <clears throat> just, you know, just got to learn from it. And you can talk all you want, but you better do the right thing down the road. Um, and, that, you know, that's kind of what I tell them. It's, just, it's your actions. So we'll see where that goes.